Okay, here, good morning. I want to show you. This cell ran all night long under this load. And then Chuck opened the big door. And you can see it fell here. And now as it adjusts, you can see it coming back up here. So here's the voltage this morning. It's still under continuous load of this resistor load here. And there's the voltage. And the uh, next thing I'm going to be testing is uh, Tesla Cult's three penny cell and we got it to light with an LED so we'll be doing that next. Thanks. Okay. Here's the penny cells. You can see I just put them on the meter and they drop down here. Here they are. There's the voltage. And now I'm going to turn on the LED. You can see that's where the LED is. Not very much. About 1.6. And you can see what the cell's doing here. So now we're just going to leave it on here and see what happens. So, again, again we're using a 2 volt LED. So, this is what you can see the cell do. This is was unloaded and then this is loaded and then this is the actual voltage on the pennies. So here's the cell and that's the brightness you're getting out of that LED. And to make these work you did have to file off one side of the penny. So there's the voltage again. We're going to see what it does. Chuck and I are going to watch this cell today. And you can see all these in here. I know it's kind of hard to see in the camera. These erratic detections. So it's doing the same thing as the star cell. It's picking up the same thing. So we're going to let it go. And then we'll just do another movie on this. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's the cell 20 minutes later, and you can see it's a continuous linear drop. And now here's the LED. And here's the voltage. And I'll keep adding this, this LED right here is supposed to be 1.6 volts, so I'll change that in a second after this one goes completely out. But once again, here's the brand new cell. I put the load on, drops to the LED and continues to drop downward this way. So we'll see where it goes. Give it some more time. And I'm gonna splice all the, I want you to know that I'm splicing all these together so that you can have a continuous uh, YouTube video on this crystal cell. Thanks. Okay. I'm back. This is um, six hours later and I want to show you something here. Um, it's holding at that voltage. Of course, it won't light the LED. Barely. But uh, we start out here once again under load and the LED is lit and then it drops off linear and then uh, we short it with another LED and it drops down here and then this now is continuous running. Now let me show you something here. I'm gonna push on these. Each one. And you can see it spike up here when I push on them. 
Here's your LED. You can barely see it lit in there. And there's your voltage. So these aren't a real good source for holding the LED bright on like the oscillator or the uh, resistive load like the star batteries. But I made one more star battery and we're going to hook three of them in series. These are just sitting right now. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd share the Tesla cult battery with you. And it was made with his proportions exactly. Copper filings. Heated and dipped. Uh, there's not enough copper on them to uh, make a semiconductive junction. But you can scrape off one side. So it's actually two different metals on this cell. But once again, I'm going to push again on these. Show you that they're pressure sensitive. Okay, so I'll expand this out. So you can see where I pushed on it here, and it jumped up. So I'll go back to auto here. I'll just go to a thousand. Okay, so this is where I pushed on it, and you can see now it's jumped up. And of course, the LED in there is a little bit brighter, and the voltage is a little bit higher. So anyway, I just thought I wanted to share with you this. Um, and as they settle out, you see these little notches here come up in here. Because I did push on them. But I just wanted to show you they were pressure sensitive too. Okay, that's all I want to do on this. Thank you.